Hey hi friends! In this video we will learn how to 3D print a product. So first step is designing and I am designing a mobile stand for 3D printing in Kadia V5 software. You can use any software which you like. While designing the product, make sure that its size must not exceed printer's bed area. In my case, it is 220 by 220 mm square. Okay, so this is how the phone stand looks like. I have kept it simple for better understanding. Step 2. STL Format Conversion In this step, we are going to export our part in STL format. For that, click on File menu and select Save As. Now select STL from drop-down menu and remain your product as per your convenience. Step 3. Material Selection ABS ABS requires extruder temperature around 230 to 260 degrees Celsius and bed temperature around 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. Strength of this material is high, flexibility is medium and durability is high. Next mostly used material is PLA. That is polyacetic acid. It requires extruder temperature around 180 to 220 degrees Celsius and bed temperature around 60 degrees Celsius. Strength of PLA is lower than ABS as well as its flexibility and durability is also lower. Next comes PETG that is polyethylene terephthalate glycol. It requires nozzle temperature around 220 to 250 degrees Celsius and bed temperature around 70 to 90 degrees Celsius. It has higher strength and durability than abs but flexibility is lower. This is the comparison between these three materials. Understanding 3D Printer Before moving further, we need to understand important parts of 3D Printer of which one is extruder. Extruder helps to melt the material. It is assembly of various parts such as fins, which help in maintaining constant temperature, heater, which heats up whole extruder, heating block and nozzle, which helps to extract the melted material. Filament enters through a small pipe in extruder. The heater heats up heating block and material is passed through heating block where it melts. Then the melted material is passed through nozzle. After which the melted filament is stick to bed, for that the bed must be kept on suitable temperature according to filament properties. This is the placement of extruder and bed in 3D printer. Slicing For slicing you need to down a free software named Ultimator Kura. You can easily search it on Google and install it. So this is a 3D printing slicing software. Now here you need to add your printer's configuration. For that select Add or Manage Printer. Then select Non Ultima Printer and browse the list of printers to select yours. Click on Add. Now we will import our STL file. For that, click on File and then Open. Select Q File. OK, so file has been imported. So to zoom in and out, you can simply rotate mouse wheel. To pan around, drag the mouse by pressing white button of mouse. And to slide around, press mouse wheel and drag the mouse. Now click on Model and select Move icon to move it in three dimensions. You can select drop down so that it always stick to base of printer no matter where you move it. And lock model to fix the positions of your part. This is scale command. It is used to increase or decrease the size of model. Next is rotate command to rotate your model in any axis. 
This is mirror command which is used to flip the model along any axis passing from center of model. To know this tool is for mesh setting that is how you want to print your model as a support or rigid body. You can select this tool to add manual support for your model. Now we will select our material. So click here on 0.4mm nozzle menu and select the material weeder it is ABS, PLA or PETG. You can also choose the company whose material you are using. Select the size of nozzle, usually it is 0.4mm. From this menu you can select what type of print quality you want weeder, fine, medium low. But please remember more the quality, more time will be required. Now click on slice. In the preview menu you can see how it is sliced. Now let's understand some basic setting of slicing. First is layer height. As you can see right now layer height is 0.2 mm. That is the thickness of each layer. You can change the value from here, let's say 0.4 mm. With bigger layer height printing time will be reduced but you have to compromise with quality of product. Next is initial layer height that is the height of very first layer. Mostly it is kept higher so that melted material sticks properly to bed. Now wall thickness. It is thickness of outer boundaries of product. As you can see there is a green line and a red line. These are wall and total thickness of both is 0.8 mm right now. You can change its value or you can change the value of wall count that is how much lines do you need there to increase strength of product. Okay now we will see top and bottom thickness. It is the thickness of layer from where product is closed in top and bottom directions. As you can see here, the thickness of perfect solid, above and below mesh. You can change its value as well, to have good strength. I am keeping top and bottom thickness as 1.2 millimeters. Next is infill. That is how the inner hollow part of material is filled. You can fill it 100% solid but to save time and cost we keep it around 20 to 80% according to strength requirement. Right now the infill is 20%. You can simply increase it or decrease it. There are many types of infill like grid, cubic, etc. You can choose any one of them which perfectly fits to model. I mostly use grid infill. Infill layer thickness as the name itself suggests thickness of each infill layer. So next is material setting. As we discussed earlier material properties, so according to that you can change the bed and temperature setting. I am using PLA so I will use these setting. Now printing speed that is at what speed extruder will be moving. But remember more the printing speed less is the quality and time. Retraction is the amount of material which is pulled back from extruder when it is moving over printed parts to reduce stringing. This is the fan speed which helps to cool down the extruder. Keep the settings as default. Next is support. It automatically builds support wherever there is an overhanging part above 45 degree. As you can see here it is overhanged above 45 degree so it made a support over here. You can also change the angle, like 30 degrees to have support on other side. But mostly printer manages to print without support below 45 degree. So to save time and material use it as 45 degree generally. There are two types of support, linear and tree. You can use any one of them. Okay, so next is build plate adhesion. This is mostly used when your material is unable to stick on bed. So you can use brim or raft, so it makes a solid offset of initial layer so that product gets stuck to bed. I will keep this to none as I apply glue over the bed to have good adhesion. So now to save the material and time, by not using support we will rotate our model in such a way that no overhanging part is left.
You can also preview the animation of nozzle movement. That is how nozzle will extract the material. For that, click on play button. As you can see, it is first printing the inner wall, which is represented by green line, and then outer wall represented by red line. Finally, infills represented by orange color. Now save this G-code to your memory card and let's insert it into 3D printer. Okay, so this is my 3D printer. I have inserted the SD card and now let's click on print and then choose our file. After clicking the extruder will go to home position and we'll start to raise the temperature till 200 degree. So this is how the final product looks like. It tool nearly 4 hours to finish. If you liked the video please subscribe to channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.